Hi everyone, it's Renee. Today we're gonna be making something more nutritious than I, what I usually do, but we're gonna be making some all brand muffins. The first ingredient that we're gonna be using is one cup and one quarter of a cup of all purpose flour, half a cup of sugar. I used brown sugar because I figured since we're going to, to have something nutritious, I prefer to have like brown sugar sometimes, but you can use like regular sugar if you want to. One tablespoon of baking powder, then we need one quarter of a teaspoon of salt, then we need two cups of old bran. I did this twice, one with the old bran as it is, without doing anything else to it. And for the second recipe that I tried, I did blend the two cups of old bran. At the end, you're gonna see the two results, but I ended up liking more when I blended the old bran. Milk, and I'm using one and one quarter of a cup. The recipe calls for fat free milk. I didn't have fat free, but I'm using regular milk. Then one egg. Then we're gonna be using some vegetable oil and I'm using part of a cup of that and I decided to add half a cup of nuts and honestly that makes a difference in the flavor. The nuts I decided to cut them, you can cut them in like a blender, that's up to you or you can do it by hand by just using a knife like this or with your own fingers just cutting them in you know pieces. Pretty much depends on your taste, if you don't like nuts leave them out but if you do how bigger how small you leave your shanks or your pieces of nuts pretty much depends on your personal taste by hand you're going to be um, getting bigger pieces and by knife smaller pieces the first thing that i'm going to be doing is in a bowl place all my dry ingredients and that means i'm just going to place my flour my sugar my baking powder my salt I'm going to mix everything together, all my dry ingredients, with my brand new whisk that I'm loving right now. I got this uh, from Target actually in a recent haul that I showed, if you want to check it out. Once everything is uh, mixed, I'm just going to sift the whole thing. This step is important because it's going to make like everything blend together and most likely it's going to eliminate any bumps or lumps that some of your dry ingredients might have. Once I have done that, I'm just going to go into a large mixing bowl. I'm just going to combine my cereal with my milk and I'm just going to let it sit for about... The recipe calls two minutes, but it was way more than that. It was actually like for five to ten minutes. And even after that, it wasn't as soft as I was expecting it to be. So that's why I decided to just then make the other recipe that I was mentioning before. But then I added my egg and oil and you're just going to beat that up and then once everything is mixed you're just going to add your flour mixture which contains all the the dry ingredients and you're just going to mix until everything is combined so once your ingredients are combined as a final step you're going to add your nuts and for that I'm going to just add them but I'm just going to mix them with a spoon because I don't want to over mix the whole thing otherwise it's going to be like a super super dense batter even more as it is at the moment. This is what it looks like so far. So to make this thing's muffins we're just going to add them to a muffin pan or cupcake pan. I'm just going to add some um, vegetable oil or you can add a butter if you want to. I'm just going to take my spoon that I wanted to use for like cupcakes and muffins so I have like the same amount of like butter in all my cupcakes or all my uh, muffins. That goes to the oven, bake them at 400 for about 20 minutes or until they are golden brown. Let them cool for about 10 minutes and usually I like them warm. So if they get like at room temperature, just go ahead and pop them into the microwave so you can have like a nice warm dessert or snack. Now this is what it looks like with the old brand cereal as it is, as I was mentioning at the beginning. And this is what it looks like from the inside so you can see more or less what it looks like and what you're going to get. These are honestly so good. But as I was mentioning before, I did try like the recipe blending my old brand cereal as the consistency of sugar, pretty pretty blended. And this is what it looks like when you blend it. I like them better like this. It looks kind of more appealing to the eye if I'm 
being honest here, and kind of like less messy, I would say. Again, this recipe I got online, but I did some changes here and there, trying my own like style. So I really hope you go for it. If you like this idea or this recipe, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more stuff, and share it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.